Hey everyone, it is Havo High here bringing another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. In this video, we're going to be doing another global timeline. This is going to be the October through November 2020 edition. So with that, if you're new to my channel, like, subscribe, comment below, do all that good stuff. And always just shout out to DBZ Space and the Dokkan Wiki for info and images provided. So yeah, um, the never-ending worldwide celebration will be closing out pretty soon. Uh, it's going to be ending in the beginning of October. So I figured I'd go ahead and uh, make this video here like I normally do. Now, uh, of course, these are all going to be speculations. Nothing is official, but we should get official word on the next celebration upcoming really soon. So, uh, but let's go ahead and jump into it right here. So we're going to make the best guess, you know, using the JP version of the game. And um, usually right after the download celebration, what they're calling now the worldwide celebration, uh, which is going to be ending October 4th. Um, it's going to be a single Dokkan Festival exclusive TUR unit and the only one that's available uh, that Global does not have over JP is the Transforming uh, Ultimate Gohan. So uh, I really think everything is pointing toward this as the celebration and uh, what we're hoping here if you see look, as you look at the banner here that AGL Bardock is going to be replaced with a uh, f the Int Future Transforming Gohan and um, we'll see we'll see because that unit hasn't returned since its launch uh, so hopefully they do replace and put that uh, uh, future Gohan on this banner here now the transforming AGL Gohan is an incredible unit I recommend uh, you guys do summon for this unit here defensively offensively really everything it's a very very solid unit and if you did pull LR um, uh, Goku and Angel Vegeta LR Super Vegito then this unit is a must-have on the Majin Buu Saga um, uh, team. So along with that, you have an amazing, uh, you know, non. It's going to be a you know a non Dokkan Festival exclusive unit in the Supreme Kai and Kabito. Man, that unit is amazing. Uh, on top of that, you're going to get West Kai's Dokkan Awakening, and then you're going to get a free-to-play uh, Great Saiyan Man 1 and 2. So uh, look for that in the beginning of October. Uh, this should be the celebration dropping you know, right after the Worldwide Celebration. All right? So uh, on top of that, I think this celebration here is going to be lingering on. This is going to be full-on October, and they're going to be basically adding a bunch of stuff to it. So I would, I would think early to mid-October, so from October um, 4th, to like middle of October, we should also get uh, uh, the Extreme Sea Battle for Buff Boo there, uh, and then the Extreme Z area for um, you know Maja Vegeta and Fat Boo. So um, that's what I'm expecting here. Now they could um, you know add that in a, in a later um, uh, celebration, which I'll be talking about in just a few minutes. And uh, but I think this would make sense, right? Because the um, the worldwide celebration was all Majibu Saga. We're kind of going in reverse in global, right? So we're going to do Ultimate Gohan, and then after this, we're going to be talking about uh, Go Tanks and um, and Fat Boo, uh, Transforming Boo. So, uh, but I can see that they should be dropping uh, this uh, EZA and then this um, or the secondary EZA and this Extreme Z area with the Majin Vegeta and the Fat Boo, which once again makes the Majin Power um, team really good and then still enhances the Majin Buu Saga. So uh, more power-ups there. So what I also think is in mid to late October, they're going to be introducing a new Extreme Z Awakening. Now, uh, during this celebration, uh, Super 17 was, supposed, was uh, suddenly uh, was the Extreme Z uh, awakening for the uh, the Neo Gods, but uh, we didn't we haven't got the uh, Super Saiyan 3 Broly yet. So I don't think they're gonna skip Super Saiyan 3 Broly. I think they're just gonna slot them in here as the EZA for the celebration uh, instead of having Super 17 because it really doesn't make any sense for Super 17 or Broly. Uh, but you know EZAs really they just kind of pop into you know any celebration so no rhyme or reason so on top of that i think they're also going to be introducing the 34th world tournament as well finally i think we're going to be getting um demon kick uh, demon king piccolo uh, as uh, the reward um so look out for that in the in the next um world tournament unit that we don't have because global is kind of ahead on world tournaments you know when it comes to uh the series there um uh, on the uh 
on the unit that we're getting for a reward so we should be getting getting the in trunks or something new i don't i don't know sometimes they do that as well uh but the most exciting thing about a world tournament during mid to late october is this guy right here high school gohan is a super super op uh support unit and it's going to be a must run on the majin Buu saga as well so um so yeah gonna be very interesting um for uh, uh for the mid to late october because i don't think the gohan banner is gonna last the whole month so they're gonna have to do something else so what i think they're gonna add is going to be either a double rate lr banner um or they're going to just add kind of like a random featured lr uh banner um you know like they did on jp with like uh, um you know goku black or something of that nature so they can maybe even do a series of featured lrs as well uh, they've done that uh along with that i don't think they're going to be introducing a new lr like a a global first lr i would be surprised if they did it um but you know they would i would say they would have to do an lr banner sometime to mid and late october so i think it's just going to be either a double rate or like a series featured um uh, you know old school lrs uh, which I think that's what they're going to end up doing. So we'll see what that happens there. So I also think they're going to add an ex explosive chain battle. I think they're going to go all the way back to the first one uh, that JP was introduced with the explosive chain battle, and that would be the Broly here. Um, so uh, so look out for for that. So that that would make sense uh, while in the celebration. So that's what that's what I think right here is going to be for the full October um series here so mid to late october uh would be all these other things um one lr banner um and then early uh, october is going to be the transforming gohan so which will kind of leak toward the middle of october as well so um so that's my best guess uh, now let's go ahead and move into november so i think november is going to kick off with uh early to mid november kick off with the uh, double uh, the dual dokkan fest banner of uh, transforming go tanks and transforming boo um this makes sense because this would follow suit from last year last year they ended up doing this uh same thing with the uh, transforming trunks and zamasu so it would make sense uh early to mid november or kind of even maybe like late october right so like late october halloween or something like that uh, would make sense as well um so this dual dokkan fest banner is going to be once again again interesting because some of these units you know we just recently had on featured units from the five-year anniversary uh or from the worldwide celebration so interesting if they're going to change uh some of this like for example uh you can see the um uh, the physical piccolo on the trunks banner and i mentioned all the way back over here you see piccolo's on this one as well so they have they're not going to have it back to back right it, it wouldn't make any sense if they actually did that so um um, so those I think these two banners will be totally different than the JP banners uh, So it's up to you to summon on this. This should have a buy three given free uh, Maybe have some uh, have some tickets if it has tickets then definitely uh, be Be worth it to summon on these banners, but without tickets probably for you free to play players uh, You know, I I'll probably stay away from it, but uh, pretty high value if uh, if the tickets are going to be there Which that's what global players are hoping so um Really, what I'm excited about is also the Dokkan Awakenings for uh, these three units here. You got the Goat, you got the Goten, Trunks, and then the Fit Boo. These units are pretty incredible. Uh, make you know helps really helps with Super Battle Road if you're having trouble you know beating those events there and uh, having these non Dokkan Festival exclusive units. Uh, you know dokkan awaken into just like op strong super strong units uh, are very valuable along with that two free to play units will also get a little upgrade as well the uh, wolf tanks and then um uh, oh my goodness i just totally blanked out on vegeta's brother um uh um tarble tarble so um like i said totally blanked out on that so uh, anyway so tarble and uh, wolf tanks will get a little bit of a buff there so uh, have fun with that free to play players so that's that should be early to mid november um and it's going to lean toward or uh f you know f um bring us into kind of the end of majin Buu saga units for the global version of the game because jp's pretty much 
you know, did it the right way, right? It got introduced with the um, Gotenks, Fat Boo, transforming Gohan, and ending with the Worldwide Celebration. We kind of went backwards, <laughs> so kind of like a Quentin Tarantino movie. Um, so now this should kind of end everything here. Now, I think on top of this, uh, we should get a couple extra things here, like the... Um, the new, um, you know, Babidi, Babidi and Deborah, uh, LR Babidi and Deborah for the, um, what is it, the uh, the battlefield. So we should get that, and then the random uh, easy A to uh, uh, to Raditz as well. So we should get all this stuff early to mid November, um, driving toward Thanksgiving. So a kind of mid to late November really is going to be the thank you celebration, and we already know what the thank you celebration is. JP had that in the Tanabata celebration, so that's going to be easy to uh, recognize because it's going to look like this. It's going to be LR Beyond Blue, that's right, Goku, Vegeta, uh, the unit that I really, really want the most. Um, and the banner is pretty ridiculous, right? So uh, it will be my chance to rainbow my Vegeta to get a couple extra copies of Gogeta. Uh, my go bros is already rainbowed so um, so yeah it's it's a pretty crazy uh, banner and of course the thank you festival uh, tickets uh, should be there as well and then finally a summonable Krillin dropping on the global version of the game so along with the celebration there we should also get the magical girls that came along during the thank you celebration and then I'm thinking that we should get a uh, explosive chain battle with God Koo, right that would make sense on this um the celebration have it now on top of that i also think that the omitted easy a of kale and khalifla these units should be dropping on the global version of the game during this time as well so i think during thank you celebration we're gonna get uh these two easy a's which was um absolutely omitted from uh the uh, uh from global which was very surprising when uh, kefla came out so uh, anyway, uh, if it doesn't, if these two units don't drop, we're gonna have to wait until Jiren, and I think Jiren, uh, I'll talk about that in a second, uh, will be dropping uh, during New Year, so it'll be even later than um, than if we don't get them now. So hopefully we'll get them uh, mid to late November here, um, the end of November during during Thanksgiving during the Thank You celebration. So. Um, so here, here's basically what it looks like and, and what I think it's going to happen for October, November. It's a lot of stuff. I think, you know, when, when it comes to lack of content that a lot of people were, uh, you know, upset about during Dokkan in the Worldwide Celebration, I think October, November is going to be stacked. Uh, and on top of that, you know, um, is, uh, is Global and JP might do a you know dual celebration for heroes as well because they might they might even fit that in uh, during october november because it's going to be the 10th year anniversary for super dragon ball heroes so um so yeah yeah we got to look forward you can look forward to that now i didn't do december but i'll just kind of give you a quick quick preview of december i think december uh we're probably going to get a global first we've been having global first for the last two years uh, that's gonna also going to be during the de end of December will be the 2000 day celebration. Uh, that's when uh, global is going to celebrate the 2000. And then I think new year's, um, should be Jiren. So that's, that's my best guess. But, uh, for October, November, this is what it should probably look like. I'm hyped for it, especially for uh, LR beyond blue. Um, and for me, the other unit I'm really excited for is high school, um, uh, Gohan there, Super Saiyan Gohan, because uh, amazing support unit. Anyway, with that, tell me what you guys think. You guys agree with me, disagree with me? Uh, let me know in the comment section below, and if you're new to my channel, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And anyway, thank you all for watching. Keep on Dokkaning, and we'll catch you next time. Later.